So to set up our Wacom Pan on a Mac, we're going to go to the Apple icon on the top left of your desktop, and we're going to go to System Preferences. System Preferences is the control panel on a PC. We're going to go to the bottom where it says Wacom Tablet. The very first option that we have is Device. This will tell you what tablet you're using. Below that, we have Functions and the pen that we're using. If I click on functions, we have access to the express keys, the touch ring, and the on-screen controllers. We're going to cover how to set up these on our second video. Next, notice that right now I'm using the classic pen. If I was to select any other Wacom pen, notice that the pen has been added to the list. To get rid of one of these devices, all you have to do is click on the negative button and hit delete. I'm going to continue with the classic pen. This is the pen that I'm going to use. All we need to do is to set up our pen so that it works like a three button mouse. The tip of the pen acts like the left mouse button. So we're going to leave this the way it is. For the other two buttons, you are going to go to the clicks menu and then you're going to select middle click for the bottom part of the button. And then for the top, you're going to select clicks, right click. So now our Wacom pen is set just like a three mouse button with our left, middle, and right buttons. You can assign these buttons specifically to any program that you want. So for example, if I select Maya, I can have my pen behave in a specific way by reassigning those buttons to anything else that I have here in the list. And then when I add another program, let's say Photoshop, by going to the plus sign, I'm going to go to Browse. And it's going to take me to my Applications folder on a Mac. Then I'm going to go to Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. And I will select the icon that says Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.app. I'm going to hit Open. I'm going to hit OK. And I notice that Photoshop has been added to the list of applications. If I was to, for example, change these buttons right here to do something else, I'm going to go click lock and click fourth click, for example. Notice that my pen will go back to a left mouse button, middle mouse button, right mouse button setup. So again, you can have the pen behave specifically to any software that you want. And this is how we can quickly set up your Wacom pen to imitate a three button mouse.